precinct uniquely provides that any individual who does not want that portion of his dues, which goes to uh, political ends, uh, can, can have that money refunded, and there is spelled out a procedure by which he can do that. And if Mr. McNamara and his associates had wanted to, to uh, avail themselves of that, uh, they were then free to do so. They are now free to do so. Is it the uh, operation of the Community Action Program to back political candidates? Oh, the community action councils at, at the local level and at the state level uh, do make political endorsements and do, as part of their general activity, uh, become involved in political campaigns, yes. But isn't there an illegality involved when they bank the campaign of uh, federal uh, or national candidates? Only if they use dues money for that purpose. But that's where they get their money from. No, no, no. We, we have what we call dollar drives every year. And the purpose of those dollar drives, because that freely donated money, is to raise what we call free money that can be used in federal campaigns, whether it be for the presidency or for the Senate or for the House of Representatives. we will be selling Dallas-Fort Worth and <laughs> products from this area. We've, uh, we have uh, appointments with a very high-level group. We have the Japan Southern U.S. Association, who we will meet with. These are the industrial leaders of Japan. We hope that uh, from our visit will come a greater friendship with the Japanese, that will make it easier for future individuals or missions from Dallas, Fort Worth, to sell in Japan. Well, Senator Proxmire has been fighting the SST program very vigorously right along. I'm not competent to judge whether uh, the scientific assertions that uh, there'd be an, up an uprush in skin cancer are well-founded or not. Uh, my concern has been more on the economic uh, end of it. The airlines industry is in great difficulties. It, they, that industry is not absorbing the 747. It's going to have difficulty absorbing the DC-10 and the L-1011. And to put on top of that, the SSC, uh, until certain other things get straightened out, did give me as one individual uh, great concern. Does the aerospace arm of the UAW need the SSC in order to uh, maintain its stability? In in there, there are there are some locations that are under contract with the UAW where the continuance of the SST program was of great importance to the members there. There's little doubt uh, that this hospitalization uh, had a definite effect on the recommendations returned uh, by the executive committee. The Commission had no knowledge uh, that Mr. Coffey was hospitalized or even ill at the time it uh, issued its initial statement to Monday. And while the Executive Committee yesterday still received the complete report of its General Counsel, uh, certainly it gave considerable weight uh, to Mr. Coffey's illness, inability to appear in person and uh, 
I'm confident that weight modified the recommendations it returned. El Centro says they're administering student loans, but strangely enough, the college coordinating board in Austin says they're not getting any money from the state. I talked by telephone to a board representative in Austin this morning. She told me El Centro students are more than 13% delinquent in repaying those student loans, which are financed by the state. The board says anything over 10% delinquency is automatically cut off. And I also talked to El Centro Dean of Students, Dr. Don Kramer, who says this is not the first time it's happened to Texas colleges. Well, this has happened to us about four or five times. Uh, we don't quite understand uh, why these releases are made the way they are, uh, but uh, I can't explain uh, the delinquency publishing. Is there any action being taken to bring the, bring the list up to date or to, to force the college coordinating board to bring their list up to date and not get you in trouble like this? Well, I understand there's a great deal of concern on the part of uh, uh, other administrators at this college, uh, the uh, state uh, financial aid associations, the other administrators of colleges throughout the state who feel that this entire matter is being uh, handled in a way that could stand some improvement and that uh, conversations are being held all the time with the coordinating board and with the legislature. And in fact, apparently the legislature is holding hearings with the coordinating board to discuss what their alternatives are for solving this problem. In the meantime, how does this affect students who need financial aid? Well, it could affect them very seriously. It turns out that so far we've not been able to, or we have been able to make loans to our students, and as far as I know, no one has really suffered because of these uh, kinds of reports. It creates a rather strange public in image, however, and every time one of these reports comes out, the students call us in great numbers and want to know if that means them. And so it, uh, it hits them pretty hard. Prosecution actually.
Well, Vern, as you know, we didn't play that well last night, but you must give full credit to Omaha. I thought they played a super game, probably their best game against us all season, despite the fact that they were lacking a few of their key personnel uh, due to the fact some trades and the loss of DuPont to New York Rangers. Were you at all upset, uh, given the importance of the game for Dallas, uh, the lack of productivity on the part of the Blackhawks? Yes, I was very much so, Vern. A game that meant so much to them. Uh, the effort that we got out of a number of our players was very limited due to the fact it was an important game would have put us in a tie for uh, Fort Worth. And if I thought we could beat Oma at any time, I thought it would be last night. But the effort wasn't there, and they just certainly weren't up. And uh, I don't know whether they're uh, kind of teed up for the two games of Fort Worth, which is naturally going to decide. And we must win both games if we're going to retain second place in the extra game in the playoffs. And of course, uh, the loss last night really just made your, your position going into these next two games that much more difficult. You have to win them both. Well, we still had to win them both regardless. This is why I'm not overly upset, and we have to win them anyways, uh, because if we win them, we'll end up two points ahead of Fort Worth, and I think that we are capable of winning our last two remaining games to stay two points ahead of Fort Worth, but after all, Fort Worth has been a tough club for us all year, and we certainly have a work cut out for us. You know, Bobby, I remember about a month ago when we did uh, simultaneous conversations with you and Bob Lemieux, and you at that point were guessing ahead to the end of the season. And if I recall, you said you thought that Dallas would finish one point ahead of the Wings and about six ahead of uh, Oklahoma City, and your projection really hasn't been that far off. No, it hasn't. I think that we've lost one game that's really hurt us, uh, where the fact that we could have still been tied and still ended up one or two points ahead of Fort Worth. I still think it can be if we have a maximum effort from everybody and we get some great goaltending i think that uh, we still have a chance i know our fellows are keyed for the game with fort worth as fort worth will be for us and i think if we play as well as we did the last time in their building i think we can win and uh, it's going to be a tough game uh, for both clubs and uh, a hard fought game in both teams and uh, we just hope that we can come out uh, the best for wear <laughs> Well, Jerry, the big thing this weekend is uh, we have to cut down basically on any mistakes that, that uh, we've been making in the past. This is uh, naturally the key to whoever finishes in second place, in, in my estimation. The uh, Hawks have a very tough hockey club, and they've been tough on us all year, and we've had to play some good hockey games to pick up points from them. I think uh, both clubs are going to be very high, and uh, I think it's going to be mistakes. Uh, they have a lot of young hockey players. We have a lot of young hockey players. And uh, uh, I think uh, if these kids can keep from making the mistakes, uh, the team that makes the fewest mistakes has got to be the team that's going to come out on top in the weekend. How many fans will you crowd in the Will Rogers? Well, we estimate uh, for tomorrow night's game, Friday night's game, approximately uh, uh, 6,500. Um, I would have to think that uh, Dallas would put uh, 7,500 or 7,800, maybe even 8,000 in their building for Saturday night's game. When they were making up the schedule in uh, last summer in July, they couldn't have paired off uh, two teams any better than they have for this series. And uh, uh, it's just a tremendous finish. It's great for hockey, and uh, it's going to be a very interesting weekend. The Journal of Air, Law, and Commerce Symposium held today at SMU addressed itself to the problems of general aviation. General aviation being defined as that segment of flying other than airline and military. One of the topics that arose numerous times during the day concerned aviation insurance. Attorney Tom Davis from Austin addressed himself specifically to that problem. To use such words as a current and effective pilot certificate and then argue that by effective pilot certificate they mean that you must have a medical because your pilot certificate is not effective unless you have a medical or they will say uh, properly uh, certificated under the FAA regulations or a properly licensed pilot and such words as that when they could very well say that anyone who flies this airplane must have a pilot certificate and a current medical. I mean, it, it sounds simple, but uh, I haven't seen a policy yet that says it that simply. It's a matter of reports here uh, from other people, people who've ever tried to read an insurance policy. Do you really understand an insurance policy when you read it? I know many people 
Well, I maybe understand a little more of it than I did, but honestly, there are some provisions and in insurance policies that for the life of me, I can't figure out why they're in there, and I rather suspect that the people that uh, write the insurance don't know either. One of the aviation insurance industry spokesmen was Mr. George Whitehead, who is the vice president of the United States Insurance Underwriters Group. Saving lives, we feel, is a uh, twin... Uh, obligation with uh, compensating people after they are killed. And the exclusions have a very strong safety purpose in the policy. I think they're clear and understandable. And of course, if they are ambiguous, the courts are going to construe them against the insurance company, so they'll be, they would, uh, in those circumstances, it would be worthless. I'm not a boss in that sense. We have a very egalitarian type of faculty, and we sort of rule the school by faculty committee. I don't consider them under me, if anything. I am their servant. 